So I'll take you through now and show you what's uh, what's going on. It is cut that out, replace that with a T. Give it a little push. And there we go. All pumps out. Let's get the new one in now. I spoke to Salamander and they said that's the replacement one for that. Snap holders, floor sanders, uh, decorators, chippies, window fitters. Anyway, I'll show you what we're doing in the kitchen. Uh, kitchen. That's where my head's at, bathroom. Every, every plumber's worst nightmare, as far as I'm concerned, bath panels. So, welcome back, Monday morning. Uh, now you all had a good weekend. And also, if you're new to the channel and just recently subscribed, so I had a lot of new subscribers, then uh, welcome aboard. This channel, I sort of do a bit, literally a bit of everything. Um, you know, radiators, big house conversions, bathrooms, small jobs, emergency call outs, everything like that. Don't, don't do boiler repairs, never really have done. I've got a guy that does those for me. Um, so yeah, welcome to the channel. Um, it's sort of really warts and all. I'm showing it exactly how it is on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, if something goes wrong, I'll show you. Um, if something goes right, then I'll definitely show you. Um, so uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video from Sunday, the fill up on that big house conversion. Um, as you can see, it's quite a stressful time, but that the pressure's off there, as I said, so that's good to go. I can drop back and get bits done as and when there. But today we've got a nice little uh, job up in my local town Warwick for a friend of mine who's uh, got a deli so I'm just popping up there now to meet Rachel and um, get some sink sinks and whatnot moved for her so we'll just head up there now and you can join me on this one So here we are at the deli in Warwick um, and we've just got to switch a bit of the worktop counter around. The chippies are here, they're doing that. Um, and I've got to basically take a hot and cold feed and a waste along one of the back of the units through and into an area where they're going to have a, a sink. It's one of these knee operated sinks. Um, it's in like a kitchen area. So I'll take you through now and show you what's, uh, what's going on. So what we've got, we're going to have basically uh, a knee sink here this coffee machine is going to be spun round. The chippies are just in there hacking this apart. Someone I know might know uh, Bill very well. Be surprised oh, to see him on the channel. My favourite fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're hacking, hacking. Is that the right word, Bill? Hacking wood, wood, or strategically? Wood technician. Wood technician. The wood technician's removing a section of that um, to basically so they can get in and out there. <laughs> And then what I've got to do is get under here and basically that's our hot feed. Cold's already through for where the um, coffee machines go in. So we've got to come off this hot through there, take the two hot, the hot and cold pipes through, bring a waste pipe, which we've got to drill through that wall there and, uh, and take that out through there. So we'll get all this prepped up. I've just literally got this bit of copper in Got a pass over bend here, ready to go on there. Solder that onto there. Um, and then what we're gonna do is run the waste high level along there out. And the client's just gone to pick the sink up. So, nice little job to start the Monday off. I got 10,000 followers in that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> so you got all the lingo, Bill. Down, got all the lingo. So we've got the op connected there going out. Uh, we're gonna have the waste, it's gonna have to come through here along at that sort of height. And then I've drilled it out down the end so we can drill from outside in. We'll run the waste along, along here 
maybe 45 it up here but then it's got to shoot somehow get through there out because there's no access it's from the other side it's a bit of a bit awkward but that's the only way we can do it with that so it'll run behind there and out because we've got to reconnect the coffee machine yeah. into there at some stage so we've got the hot coming along there Little, little basin going on there. Shh. Shh. Little basin going on there. Put it on the, put it on the, the chisel. Mute it. Mute that chisel. Mute it. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do out here is cut that out, replace that with a T, and come along and pick that up there. And then hopefully get a pipe snug around there to cover that hole, fill it and cover that. And that there so it should work a treat. Right, so we've got the waste coming in through here into this tea with a like a I don't know what you call them, one way one way valve there for the waste because that is what's coming off for the coffee machine. So it's dropping into there and out into the waste. Right, there we go. There's the little push sink in. Give it a little push. And there we go. So we've got the waste connected here, it's gone through there, that socket's coming out, so that'll be jointed and got rid of. A couple of isolation valves there, um, and everything's good to go. We'll sort that wall out, patch that up before we, uh, before we get finished on that. But yeah, that's all good. That's that little sink sorted uh, for Rach at the Deli in Warwick. A um, bit more fiddly than what I thought it was gonna be just getting the pipe work through that unit and stuff like that but we managed to get there in the end and move the uh, position of the coffee machine she's always had an issue with the the waste draining out that coffee machine um so we put it direct into that trap as you could have seen so um now it's what our four and i've got to go now to another mate of mine's you're always a mate isn't it it's always a mate um, another mate of mine's for just a direct replacement for his shower pump. He rang me a while ago saying his shower was slowing down and, and he smelled burning coming from his pump. So ordered a, a replica pump, well not a replica pump, Salamander have now superseded the pump that he's got in with the, this new one, which is meant to be a, a complete direct replacement. So we'll soon see, I'm just pulling up now to where he lives. So we'll just get this done. Hopefully Salamander usually put isolation valves on the flexes coming off the off the pump so with a bit of luck it will be a case of just shutting them off swapping the pump dropping the power cable back into it and hopefully as simple as that but we shall see won't we right let's get it done now okay, what we've got is this salamander pump's knackered um so it's on a plug top so we've turned the power off to it as i said luckily we've got the isolation valves on it so what we'll do, we'll turn them off, drain that down, get that one out. This is meant to be the direct replacement for that one. So we'll soon see. In theory, it's just connecting it up, powering it back up, and seeing how it goes from there. But we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Right, most important, coffee's come already. So we've got the shut-off valves on it, which I was hoping we'd go off. So we can get that one off, that one off, that one off.
Right, so that's the old pump out. It's the old pump out, so we've isolated each one with a shut off. Old pump's out, we'll just get the new one in now. So on the bottom here, these pads just go on the bottom, just stick on. So this isn't meant to be the direct replacement for that one that we've taken out. So in theory, So you could fit the new washers, but what I tend to find sometimes is these washers are just bedded into these pipes. So if we just connect it, we can always put, if there is an issue, we can always fit the new ones. But to be honest, there never usually is. just finger tight or nipped up shall we say so let's just turn the water back onto it So there we go, new retrofitted, literally. I spoke to Salamander and they said that's the replacement one for that. So we'll go and try it in the shower. Um, there we go. Give me the shower's kicked in, the pump's kicked in. Let's check it for leaks. Yeah, seems to be working alright. So there we go, just checked everywhere, run it through, and it seems fine. Sorted, nice little job that was. Literally just a pump replacement. ISO valves off, plug out, pump out, pump in, reconnected, ISO's on, switch back on, turned on, fired up. Um, they don't always go like that, but that one was uh, a nice straightforward one. But um, yeah, job done on that one. Um, right, that's Monday done for me, and I shall see you tomorrow, being Tuesday morning. Right, proper editing on this job today. Staff holders, floor sanders, uh, decorators, chippers, window fitters. Anyway, I'll show you what we're doing in the kitchen. Uh, kitchen? That's where my head's at, bathroom.
Right, so I've got the plate on, put the rose on, uh, we've got that on. I'm not going to put the riser up yet because I'm not sure where the client wants it, whether they want it here or on the side wall. And we've got silicon in to do it around there. Got the toilet in. And now we've just got this unit in, but we've got this glass top that's going on it. So we've got to drill the tap out there, drill this out here, and then this black glass top will sit on the top of it like. Uh, I won't change, it's too heavy. But yeah, that will sit on there. I'll, I'll, I'll mock it up now and show you. So it's going to sit, sit roughly like that with a white bowl in the middle. <coughs> yeah, with a white bowl in the middle. So it's quite smart. Every, every plumber's worst nightmare, as far as I'm concerned, bath panels. Luckily, this one went in fairly well, to be fair. We've just had to trim this far edge of it here and get the radius right on it, but that's in. It's clipped along the bottom, clipped along the top, so I'm happy with that. Got the shower in position, just waiting for the Sparky to connect it up. He's about somewhere. Um, and then look, speak to the client, see where they want the riser on that one. The same as in here. See where they want the riser on this one right so there we go a few little jobs to start this week off with so the deli's done um the shower pump's done and a few little jobs at the house renovation that we've uh, been able to get in and, and sort out so again thanks for subscribing thanks for watching um hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and um i shall see you sunday with uh that video there so right catch you soon